Hi everyone and welcome to Let's Get Candid. My name is Kim Greco and I have a very special guest. And just before I introduce him, this interview is going to address some very important issues surrounding our immune system. My friends, let's just say if you feel your health is important to you, then this is gonna be the best 30 minutes you've ever spent. I met Greg through my mom. Uh, she's been talking about these various products and the science behind all of this because Greg has been a great mentor to her. And of course, I was just like, nah, it's just mom. I'm not going to listen. But I'm glad I did. I actually called Greg and he set me up and I have a lot to learn. Uh, so like you, I'm going to be listening intently and learn as much as I can. This has been a tough few months for everyone and I can tell you I've been reading, listening, and searching for something that I feel confident with. I wanna invest in me and I wanna invest in my body and it's really important, especially right now. My guest is Greg LaRock. Hey Greg, how are you? Hey Kim, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Greg has spent the last 25 years educating people on a relatively new science called glycobiology. He is a rep for a nutritional R&D company from Dallas who identified a whole new class of essential nutritional carbohydrate sugar molecules that have a profound effect on our health and our immune system. This is such an important discovery. There's a whole science dedicated to these special sugars. I am so excited and like you, want to learn more and want to share more. Be sure to leave your comments and questions and Greg will be happy to answer them at the end of this interview. Greg, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Okay, thank you very much, Kim. And it's uh, an honor and a privilege to be able to help you out here and explain to people what you've got on your mind. Um, <laughs> I'll just tell you at first, I've been involved with the company for 25 years now, and I kind of got dragged into it kicking and screaming. I really didn't want anything to do with it because my dad was a surgeon and I was raised chiropractors or quacks and all that alternative <laughs> stuff yeah. is kind of taboo, if you will. Right. Mm -hmm. So I actually tried to disprove this at the beginning just to make it go away, and I... I gave it to a few people that were sick and they all had different problems. Every one of them got better. So that made a believer out of me. So what I'm going to explain is it's a new science, well, relatively new science called glycobiology, but mm -hmm. I've been involved with this for 25 years now. And, uh, but most people, 99% of the people that watch this recording They've never heard of it before yeah. and not probably 90% of your doctors have never heard of it before either so uh, essentially the company I'm with is Manatech <clears throat> as Kim said they're a nutritional R&D company out of Dallas and they <clears throat> kind of stumbled on this years ago it was a fluke an accident how they discovered this but I know of nothing else that has the profound effect on your health that this does. So with that, I'm going to share my screen and get on okay. with it. And I'm going to try and explain yeah. to the audience mm -hmm. a very complicated science in a short period of time, right. and very, very simply. Simply is good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh, here we go. OK. Uh, this one. <clears throat> okay, hopefully you can see my screen here. Now, um, I can't see it yet, so we'll try one more time. I can't see it. We'll try again. Modern technology. <laughs> huh. We did a screen share, so it should work. Yeah, I'm on it. Let me, uh, yeah, I'm kind of in limbo. It's not letting me. Let me try it again here. Sure. And let me just click it. Sure. There we go. There Perfect. We go. Okay. Amazing. Yay. Well, All right. I'll try and pay attention over here, but I'm looking over here at a monitor. It's so. all good. <laughs> okay, so really the main purpose besides explaining to people what this is all about is to get people to understand you're responsible for your own health. It's not your doctor's job to keep you well, it's your job to keep you well. And 
took a while for me to get that through my brain to, you know, I should be responsible for my health. And when you look at the health of people today and kids, I'm just about 65. When I was in school, you know, you didn't have kids on antidepressants. Nobody was diabetic. Nobody had a peanut allergy. Nobody was lactose intolerant or gluten intolerant or and now look i mean yeah i don't even think you can bring a peanut butter sandwich to school today no. so your your bargaining power is gone <laughs> <laughs> so anyway it's 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 obvious it's right in your face what they're doing isn't working so uh this is the doctor who discovered this his name is dr bill McAnally, and back in the 70s they were they were selling all kinds of aloe vera products. Probably most of the people that watch this are too young to, you know, they weren't around then. But at that point, the FDA stepped in. They were going to try and shut the aloe industry down because what they were selling didn't have much value. And uh, an investment company at the time that later went on to be a pharmaceutical company, they hired Dr. McAnally to figure out why aloe vera works. And uh, he didn't really know where to start. So he started with a Petri dish and he put a culture in it and he put some fresh aloe vera gel in there. And by doing that, he was able to measure the immune response and the immune response was big. But he noticed after three days, there was no immune response. So what he discovered at that point was that aloe vera is labile. It destroys itself. Once you, if you've ever used it, if you break a leaf and set it down on the counter, if you go back to it the next day, it's getting kind of watery and wrinkly. It's oxidizing, it's breaking down. So basically you've got about three days to use that gel from the leaf you picked and then you have to go back to the plant again. So uh, <clears throat> he, in the middle of his research, they, discovered the electron microscope. It came out while he was in the middle of all this. And that microscope, it's just a powerful microscope. <clears throat> Excuse me, up to that point, you could only see cells. That allowed us to see molecules. So of course, he's doing the aloe vera research. So he put the aloe vera under the microscope. And what he saw was this, the green, it's a sugar called mannose. Now we're going to talk about sugars here. Glycobiology is glycos Greek for sweet or sugar. So it's the study of sugars. But it's not the kind of sugar you're accustomed to where you put it in your coffee or tea. It has nothing to do with that whatsoever. These are pre-digested biological sugars. They're different. So he identified this as the healing part of aloe vera and to, you know, I, I'm just going to give you the quick to the point okay. short story here. But uh, what he did was he stabilized. When, when you break that aloe leaf, what it does, it turns on or it ignites an enzyme called mannase that eats that sugar mannose. And that's why what they were selling was no good because if it wasn't stabilized or if it wasn't fresh, it didn't have any value. Okay. So how we stabilize the enzyme, it was, it's a bit of a story, but it was a fluke. They, we do it much more scientifically now. And uh, anyway, he went back to the people that were funding them. As I said, they were an investment company originally. Now they've gone on to become a pharmaceutical company. And for there to be any money in it, they want to, you know, synthesize this sugar mannose. Basically, they want to make a drug out of it so they can patent it and make their money and you know how things go. And uh, so he came back to them and told them, I did it. I, you know, I, I know it's the way it does. It's a sugar. I've stabilized it. Mm -hmm. So... They said, well, okay, we, we kind of want to synthesize this sugar so we can patent it. So phase one of bringing a new drug to market, you have to prove its toxicity. What harm will it do? 
It's called an LD50, lethal dose 50 percentile. Basically, they take Dr. McAnally, put him in a lab, give him 100 rats. He starts giving them that sugar mannose. He keeps increasing the amount until half the rats are dead. Well, he did that and he couldn't kill any rats. In fact, they got healthier. <laughs> They, they started doing their mazes quicker. They started reproducing faster. They were less aggressive with one another. They, they just got flat out better. So Dr. McAnally went back to the company funding his research. He told them, oh, I got a bit of a problem here. I can't kill anything. Now, I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's how it works. To you and I, good problem. To the pharmaceutical company, big problem. Mm -hmm. You can proceed no further. You have to find out what kind of harm this substance will do first. So they told them, you know, you've got to kill some animals for the, there to be any money in this for us. So they sent him back into the lab and he's told me this story himself. And uh, they give you a parameter, a low and a high, how much to give the animals. He said, I went way above the high. Not only couldn't I kill half of them, I couldn't kill one. Actually, they did kill one. It's stomach burst. They gave it some. <laughs> dear, dear. So it wasn't from toxicity. So it's yeah. good. To, it's good to know that this sugar is non-toxic. It can't do any harm. So he identified this sugar as the healing part of aloe vera. Shortly after that, he ran into a doctor, Dr. Robert Murray. This is a medical textbook, Harper's Biochemistry, and they were. I believe on a flight with one another and Dr. McAnally was telling Dr. Murray about, you know, the aloe vera and the rats and everything. And uh, Dr. Murray was also a biochemist and he's the editor of this medical textbook. And there's a chapter in there. This is an older edition, but the newer edition, I believe, has at least two chapters in there on glycobiology. And he told Dr. McAnally, he said, well, uh, you know, I, I'm a biochemist and I've been doing my own research with the electron microscope and what I've discovered is not only mannose, but there's actually eight of these sugars that are essential for your immune system to function properly. So Dr. McAnally got to thinking, hmm, I saw what happened with the rats with the one sugar mannose. If these other seven sugars have the same effect, this could have a profound effect on your health. Mm -hmm. And the eight sugars are mannose, fucose, not fructose, fucose, yeah. xylose, galactose, glucose, N-acetylnerminic acid, N-acetylglucosamine, and N-acetylgalactosamine. And there, there's going to be a test after you. <laughs> not for me, my friend. <laughs> That's why you're presenting this. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's making me sweat. <laughs> so, so there's these eight sugars that are essential for your immune system function properly. And I'm going to point out right now, these sugars, they're six-sided, three-dimensional molecules. They're, they're very complex. They aren't easy to study and they don't make good drug candidates for different reasons. So... <clears throat> Dr. McAnally, he was smart enough, and what he did was he put all eight of those sugars into a product called Ambrotose. And we have, well, now there's over, uh, I believe there's over 160 something patents around the world. And we have lots of research on it double blind, placebo controlled studies. And uh, we can make these claims that support cellular communication, cognitive function memory, concentration, attentiveness, mood, irritability, immune system function, digestive system function. Does anybody need any help with this stuff? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that, that's quite a list of things that right. it can benefit. Now, normally when I do a longer talk, I, I talk about our foods and how poor our foods are today. But as a result of you know refining processing gmos and so on we don't get all eight of the sugars in our diets anymore all we get is two in any measurable amounts 
your body has the ability to synthesize the missing six from the two you get, but it's very hard on the immune system to do that. It's a backup system. You're supposed to be getting it through your food, and we're not. In fact, that was one of my dad's first questions about it, was if I supplement these eight sugars, will I lose the ability to synthesize them from you know any small fraction of them that I get? And the answer was no, because you do it anyway. Okay. So, so you're getting two in your diet. Your body is making the missing six to give you the full complement of all eight so that your immune system can function optimally. Now, when I say sugars, I said, you know, these aren't your typical sugars. They don't go the glucose pathway. Typically, sugars are stored as fat and burnt for energy. These aren't. And this is a study from a Dr. Talitha Best. She's from Flinders University in Australia. And she does a lot of brain function studies for us there. And this is blood sugar over time. And you know, when you eat carbohydrates, you have a chocolate bar, whatever, you get that spike of energy and then the mm -hmm. crash. So this is sugar, this is starch, <clears throat> this is amber toast. You actually get a decrease in blood sugar over time. So it's totally the opposite. So that just shows you that it's not that kind of sugar. Mm -hmm. So what's it all about? What do these sugars do? Well, your body takes those eight sugars and it stacks them one on top of the other on top of the other and it forms these little hairs that stick off the surface of all the cells in your body. It's all about cellular communication. They're actually called glycoproteins. And it's a, it's a sugar that attaches to a protein. The protein actually is inside the cell that anchors the sugars. The sugars stick above the surface. And if you were to hold both hands open and touch your fingertips together, that's kind of how it works. Your cells are communicating with one another. All biological data is sent back and forth through these sugars. So it can affect a wide variety of things in your body. Typically, when you take a substance, you know, it affects, you know, limited things that it can affect. Ambertose can affect so many different things because it's all biological data. To do all the wonderful things, you know, grow new skin cells, digest your food, oxygenate your blood, you know, the whole nine yards, all of it. And it says here, almost without exception, whenever two or more living cells interact in a specific way, these sugars are going to be involved with it. So this is a very big deal. And some of you are probably sitting there going, well, I haven't heard about this before. Basically, because the pharmaceutical companies aren't profiting from it yet. All those drug commercials you see on TV, once they get this and they have all these carbohydrate or sugar drugs, then all those ads on TV are going to be, you know, carbohydrate drugs. That's what they're going to be, but they're not there yet. So there are thousands and thousands of these little hairs or glycoproteins on each cell. And there's thousands of individual sugars that make up each one of those little hairs. So it's not a simple science. This is just another picture of it here. This cell is going by and it's touching. This is the glycoprotein. The orange is the protein anchor. The sugar is the green and it sticks above. The, a good way to look at it, remember those burrs in the fall when you went to school in September and you went and got those burrs and you threw them in the girl's hair and threw them on your buddy's sweater? <laughs> that you did. That was <laughs> And you'd look at someone That's not very head. nice, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd look at someone with a nice wool sweater, and boy, it'd it stick good to them. Well, it looks like one of okay. those birds. That's what a cell looks like, kind of, mm -hmm. to simplify it a little bit. So these two cells, this one here, it's an immune cell that comes by this cell, and they just dock via the sugars they touch. And they communicate and they say, hey, are you, uh, are you me and are you okay? 
and that cell will respond. It may say, yeah, I'm you, I'm fine, leave me alone. So there's no immune response. It may say, yeah, I'm you, but I'm, you know, infected. I need to get, you know, taken care of. So you may increase your white blood cell count neutrophils to go after the infection. So it just depends what the message is as to what your immune system does. <clears throat> now, your body is an absolute miracle. And your body is just made up of cells. Their best guess, 60 trillion cells. They die off and they're replaced. You know, you cut your fingernails and what happens? Boom, they're back in two weeks and you're cutting them again. You cut your hair, another month you need another haircut. And you know, if you were to cut your finger and it gets infected, well then you get just what we said, you'll get some white blood cells go in there and they go after the infection and it kills the infection and uh, mm. the cut heals up and you look at your finger a couple of weeks later, it's a miracle, no cut. It's That's not a miracle. Do. That's how your body's designed to work. But how many messages were sent back and forth just to heal that little cut on your finger? It's through these sugars, these messages are sent. And like I said, 60 trillion cells make up your body, your, your vascular system, all your veins and arteries. If you were to spread them out, how far do you think they'd go? I have no idea. Around the world a couple of times. I don't know. <laughs> I have no you're, idea. You're, you're right on the screws. Oh. <laughs> 60,000 miles. Oh, okay. Wow. 25,000 is once around the earth. So little over twice around the earth. I mean, you can't slice me thin enough to go a mile, much less 60,000 miles. Oh my goodness. It, your body is an absolute miracle. And so you lose over a billion cells a day. You make over a billion cells a day. A day, wow. A day. And think of the messages that get sent cell to cell just to do that. I mean, something is simple as scratching your head where does that start in the brain yeah. you think of it I, oh i got an itch i got to scratch it well it goes to the central nervous system to the nerve to the muscle and you scratch your head eventually and mm -hmm. it's almost instantaneous but mm -hmm. how many messages get sent cell to cell to be able to do that so the picture you're looking at here these are different cells in your body these hairs those are the glycoproteins and uh, this on the right here, believe it or not, this is just one of these little hairs, these oh, little antenna. Okay. Okay. It's those individual eight sugars stacked one on top of the other on top of the other, but it's very precise. Let, let's put it in perspective. You make 1.4 million red blood cells per second. Just red blood cells. Mm -hmm. Now you've got to go coat them with thousands of these little antenna, these glycoproteins. And how many sugars, Kim, does it take to make one of these glycoproteins properly? I think you said eight. <laughs> eight. And how many are we getting in our diet? Two. Two. So here's the problem. You've got to go and synthesize those missing six sugars from the two you get before you can ever put them together to build one of these little antenna. Now I showed you earlier, the sugars are six sided. When you go to build just one of these hairs on one cell, you take the first two sugars, they're six sided. There's 36 different ways they could butt up to one another. And the next one has to sit in there exactly the way it's supposed to, and the next, and the next, and the next. This is really, really complicated. There's over one quadrillion different ways your body, that's 14 zeros, that your body could place these sugars, and they have to be placed exactly in the right manner, mm -hmm. or it means a whole different message. For example, on the end of the sugars here, you have certain glycoproteins that are 
insulin receptors. They're looking for insulin. And it's like a lock and I think you froze, Greg. And not expect some kind of return. It's expensive to bring a drug to market. Of course. So what this does is it's their 15-year plan, and they're going to work together. And that's something unique. You know, medicine's one of the only industries where they hold back. And with this, they're committed to sharing research. They have a common data bank. And when you figure out two sugars together mean this, you're required to put it into the data bank. So they've gathered a lot of the top glycobiology institutes and schools, a lot of the top glycobiologists, and they're working together to try and solve the mystery, to try and figure out these sugars. But this, just one sentence here, and this isn't from our company, this is from the National Academy of Sciences. And it says, glycans play roles in almost every biological process and are involved in every major disease. So they know these sugars are important and that's why they can't you know, give up on them. This is something from MIT and it, uh, it just says that, uh, uh, you know, they call it one of the top 10 emerging technologies in the world. And MIT is the mecca for science and research. And they, they say, if you don't have glycosylation, if you can't make these sugars and place them on the surface of the cells, you don't have life. The medical potential is absolutely enormous. Well, you know what they mean by that. Mm -hmm. And this is a familiar face a lot of people might recognize, Dr. Benjamin Carson. Mm -hmm. And uh, years ago, he had his own personal health crisis, and he used our products and uses them to this day. He's actually, uh, he ran for the Republican ticket for the right, president yes. of the U.S., mm -hmm. and he's in housing in HUD under... Uh, Trump, but anyway, they, they during the Republican debates, they brought up Manatech and our company. See, the pharmaceutical companies aren't big fans of us mm. because of our patents. So uh, they they kind of tried to put them in a sticky situation. It was funny, and you know they said, "Oh, you work for this sugar company." You know, he said, <laughs> "I can work for them." I've spoken for them a few times, just like I have for hundreds of other companies. They paid my fee. And he, uh, I have the recording. I recorded it. But yeah. he went to say, he started to say, I believe I love your products. He went, I, they make very good products, and I use them to this <laughs> day. For them myself. He has to be careful, for sure. He has to be careful. Yes. It's really a shame, actually, because if you find something that you, you I mean, he's this, He's brilliant in science, obviously. He's a, he's a brain surgeon, heart surgeon, brain surgeon. Uh, he's a brain surgeon. He's the yeah. past director of pediatric neuro, uh, neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins. Incredible. And he, he has a product that he loves, and it's worked for him, obviously, because of his health crisis that you mentioned. And um, the fact that he can't even talk about it because he's a doctor. You have, they have to be very careful, I guess. But it's really a shame, nevertheless. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I think he had to be more careful because he's in politics now. Yeah, probably. <laughs> as a doctor, what he did say is medicine has become a significant business. And there are a lot mm -hmm. of people who invest a lot of money into drug development who are not going to look at these things, glyconutrients, in a friendly manner. Mm -hmm. And he about hit that nail right on the head. Yeah. So, I mean, he's one of the, at the time when he was practicing, one of the top 10 doctors in the world. He's been in movies, Gifted Hands is one a movie that was made about him. Real mm -hmm. smart guy. He's mm -hmm. uh, quite a guy. So, uh, and this is something from Johns Hopkins. He's a researcher, Daryl Hart. He says, this is going to be the future. Now he's talking from a pharmaceutical point of view, but they're, trying to synthesize the exact same eight sugars that are in amber toast. And he says, this is going to be the future, declares biochemist Gerald Hart of Johns Hopkins. We won't understand 
immunology, neurology, developmental biology, or even disease until we get a handle on glycobiology, these sugars. They know they have to figure it out. So basically, Kim, that, that's, that's the long and short of yeah. amplitose and glycobiology. Do you have any questions or anything? About um, you know what? No, actually, you've explained it very thoroughly. Just don't test me, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, this is quite fascinating. I do have a question about, because I don't really understand. So if a pharmaceutical company um, is going to synthesize, does that mean that the product would be natural or would it have, um, would it be synthetic? I don't understand what that means. It would be a synthetic. It, it, see, you can't patent life. Okay. So our patents are on the combinations of the sugars. Any combination of two or more right. infringes on our patents. Right. So right. they want to typically, when you make a drug or even vitamins and minerals, you start with coal tar. Mm. And you isolate it and fraction it off, and they make drugs. That's what they do. But it's no longer life so they can patent it i see hmm. if that okay. makes sense. it does make sense yes absolutely okay so now i'm gonna talk a little bit kim asked me to talk about our vitamin and mineral mm -hmm. and you know we're in a state now where people are fed by a food industry and they pay no attention to health mm -hmm. and we're treated by a health industry and they pay no attention to food so Very well put. when you think about it, I remember Dr. Carson said it actually at uh, a meeting we were at. And he said, if, if you had everybody just exercised, breathed clean air, drank clean water and ate a good diet, there'd be no need for diet. Mm. But we don't live in that world. And, you know, you go to the doctor to keep you well. Well, they're not educated in nutrition. No, no, it's My, true. Yeah. I don't know how many years of school my dad did, but he got four hours education in nutrition. Wow. So we go to the doctor to get us well, and they're not educated on what keeps us well. Mm. And I'm not, don't get me wrong, you will always need your doctor. They oh, do absolutely. some amazing things. I, I'm not some kind of cynical person. I mean, but you have to understand what they do well and what they don't. Emergency and trauma, fantastic. If I get in a car wreck and my arm's hanging off, don't take me to the food store, the health food store. <laughs> don't get me to the emergency room. That's where I need to yeah, be. Absolutely. But, but I've heard that before from doctors that I've spoken to. And they, they're the, uh, I mean, there are, there are those that go to school to become dietitians, um, you know, very, very different, obviously. But I've heard that before from friends of mine that are doctors that they don't train, they don't study a lot in nutrition and um, they do a little bit, of course, they're very good understanding of the body, obviously, but it's not their, it's not their uh, focus, I guess you could say. Although I have met some doctors who tend to lean a little bit more towards more of a natural um, homeopathic kind of um, practice, but they have, I feel like they have to be very careful too because they need to support the pharmaceutical companies. I'm sure it's a very difficult thing to balance for them. Um, that's why I said I, I agree with you. I just feel like I know myself. I've been you know seeking out more natural foods, more organic foods, um, I, and this product is. Like I said, my mom's been talking about it for years. And I know what it's done for her, and of course, it just sort of yeah, 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 but. I just feel like uh, I'm almost 60 and it's like, I got to do something. <laughs> I need to find something that, I mean, I already feel great, you know, but just that extra support uh, for confidence, you know, peace of mind for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, anyway, this basically, this is the situation people are in and, yeah. you know, like, like you say, Kim, there's a lot, a lot of the new younger doctors, they're, they're more open to natural things. Mm -hmm. I find a lot of them where a lot of the older doctors maybe aren't so much. I mean, you, you can't pickle them all together. Yeah. You know, it, it's some are, some aren't. That's really, okay. I've got a lot of doctors that take it themselves. Some of them refer it to their patients, all different types of doctors, you know, alternative and mainstream and so on. So you get a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. 
Now, with vitamins and minerals, I want to be clear. Ambrotose is not vitamins and minerals. There's four essential categories of nutrition. There's carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals, fatty acids, and uh, proteins. And ambrotose is not vitamins and minerals. It's a totally different thing. But most vitamins and minerals that you get today, the vitamin, they're synthetic. See, the whole thing with food form vitamins and minerals and synthetic vitamins and minerals is it takes a whole pile of food to make a food form vitamin and mineral. And they can get a lot more vitamin C or vitamin E or whatever into a synthetic one. So that's why when you look at the label, there's a lot more I use in a synthetic vitamin and mineral than there is in a food form one, and there's hardly any food form ones. Okay. But the absorption's much better with a food one than it is with a synthetic one. So most of the synthetic ones, they're made out of coal tar. And it's just like I said, like uh, vitamin C, synthetic vitamin C, the first step is to chlorinate gasoline. And they go from there, and that's how they make vitamin C. Minerals in uh, vitamins and minerals, or even in, you know, milk, fortified with calcium. Mm -hmm. Typically, it's ground up limestone, <laughs> you know, and that's what they put in there. That's oh your calcium. calcium carbonate. That's uh, limestone's used to harden cement. So, these are the types of vitamins and minerals that the vast majority of the people are taking. And it says here, minerals are generally recovered by mining. Tests have shown that the minerals contained in most popular brands of uh, multivitamins probably pass through the body without being absorbed. And that's the biggest knock to synthetic vitamins and minerals is it's expensive pee. Mm -hmm. And it's true, but your body's pretty remarkable. It'll absorb some of it, but uh, there's a lot of studies out there now that it actually causes harm. Oh, interesting. Huh. Time to talk about it. I can send them to you. It's mm -hmm. pretty interesting what they yeah, do. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, anyway, um, this picture here, these are vitamins and minerals. This side is the before, this side is the after. After what? After heating them, just for about 10 minutes at 350. So we're not really frying these things. We're just, vitamins and minerals, are, you're supposed to get them from your food. When you heat food, it should just brown a little bit. It doesn't turn black. The after, all the black you see in these vitamins and minerals, this is the coal tar, the petroleum coming out of them. Wow. So Centrum one a day, women's, you know, these are now, this mm -hmm. one, Phytomatrix, this is our whole food vitamin and mineral. So it just browned a little bit. Yes, you can see that. And this product, Mana Bears, this is a, this is a great product if it you've is. got kids. Yeah. This is a, it's a little gummy bear. It has ambrotose in it. A lot of our products do have ambrotose in them, but uh, it's, it's an amazing product. It's got a lot of different cruciferous fruits and vegetables, ambrotose, but you can see it just melted a little bit. Yeah. Basically. Now, Flintstones in the middle here. My wife, makes this she she makes these things here she's done it a number of times flintstones turns to a puddle of tar oh, in the horrible. oven you can, you can take it and roll it up and go patch your driveway with it oh, it's horrible i encourage people do it give it a try you'll see exactly you got smoke coming out of the oven it smells like you spilt a quart of oil on the engine block. It, it, and, and, and we give this to our children. Yeah. We give this well, to our children. Yeah. Wow. You know what? Advertising can be very misleading. Yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. Who, I mean, you don't know, right? You, you just go by, oh, that sounds great. I'm going to try that. Yeah. This is a really, um, it's disturbing, actually. 
to look at this. Yeah. But I, I remember my mom used to send my, send me again, the mana bears for my son and uh, he loved them. And that was many years ago. So um, I do remember cause she said, don't, don't be giving him, you know, these other products that I had given him, given him. And um, so I put him on the mana bears. He loved them. They tasted great. So he didn't know any different, but definitely yeah. a big difference in the, in the actual product and what it carries. So yeah they're 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 amazing i've heard some amazing stories with you know moms giving them to their kids yeah absolutely yeah what age would you give a man, the mana bears to a minimum max they love them. They, well there's with a lot of nutritional products there's certain things governments require that go on the label i mm -hmm. think on the mana bears the age is oh lord i want to say three or five or something like that That's but easy, i believe yeah. it's for choking oh of course okay yeah is the reason so you know it, it's there's certain things that have to go on the labels of things. Of course, absolutely, yeah. The official word is follow what the label says 100 <laughs> percent, always yes okay. yeah. uh so we've gotten to the point now we take petroleum and we make our food and we take our food and we make our fuel. Mm. Everything is just it's black. backwards. <laughs> yeah. Black is white and white is black. Honestly. So and this is phytomatrix. This is the vitamin and mineral that I'm talking about. So mm -hmm. that, that gives you a bit of an idea about the vitamins and minerals. Uh, mm -hmm. did, did you have any questions on that, Kim? Uh, no, no, you've, uh, you've been very thorough. I don't have one question, but I'm sure some of the, the guests that will be watching this video may have. And I encourage you all to put your comments and questions in the, in the chat. And um, I know that Greg will, will definitely be able to answer them for you. And Greg is welcome. He's welcoming you to set up a one-on-one -on -one call with him if you have any specific questions about concerns that you may have uh, for yourself or a family member or your children um, in terms of the product and, and how it may, uh, may, you may benefit from it. So make sure you put your, your comments in the, in the comments box and also your questions for him for sure. Okay, great. Okay. And this is the last question, the last product. I'm just going to touch on it really quickly. Sure, with Kim. And this one is called PLUS. And PLUS mm -hmm. is for your endocrine system. Your endocrine system is all your glands, and your glands produce hormones. Hormones regulate so much of what goes on in your body from digestion to sex drive to body temperature to waking you up in the morning putting you to sleep at night all your organs and when i do public talks a lot of times you know i, I i'll ask the audience i said how many have problem thyroid type problems mm -hmm. it's like a quarter of the room so many people right? today have got thyroid it's amazing Gut problems and thyroid problems seem, seem to be really? two common things, but your thyroid is a gland and it mm -hmm. produces hormones. Right. So anyway, the important thing to know about PLUS is you're not taking synthetic animal hormones like HRT, hormone replacement therapy. Good to know, right. Yeah. So you're not doing that. What we do is... And this was actually our first product before we ever had Amber Toast. Is that right? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, of course, Amber Toast is our flagship product now. But plus, a little Amber Toast and plus, and most people just thrive. But uh, we kind we call plus our happy pill. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. I do have a question for you. So let's say. Um, Let's say uh, someone like uh, is taking medications for, you know, I don't know, diabetes or high blood pressure. Would any of these products um, be harmful to take uh, while someone is perhaps on um, a medicine for, like, say, high blood pressure, um, diabetes, etc.? Well, what happens is uh, I don't get involved with people adjusting, and you shouldn't either. No, no, no. medications. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, 
Amber toast is totally non-toxic and as far as I know has no contraindication with any medications. Right. Yeah. Always go to your doctor Always. as far as medications go. I it's not my place to advise people should I use this of drug or that drug or mm -hmm. but you know again it, it's pretty obvious if someone you know, I, 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 I can't give testimonials on diseases and, and, and things, but of course, mm -hmm. everybody's always related to their disease. But let's say somebody was diabetic. Well, they take their blood sugar all the time. Yes. So if they were to take the products and saw, they're, they're looking at their, their, uh, their, their blood sugar levels as they test during mm -hmm. the day. So they're always adjusting their medication anyway so where are other problems you may need a picture or blood work or something from the hospital so right. but you do all that through your doctor it's not our place to no and i think that's really great advice for absolutely you know because i think so you, you, yeah you always have to go to your doctor 100 percent Yes. So, and, and you can always bring the product in and then have that conversation with your doctor for sure. Exactly. Yeah. And we've mm -hmm. got great literature that people can take to their doctor to ask mm -hmm. for advice. Which is great. Yeah. yeah. Happy to hear that for sure. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, the plus, the, the problem with hormones, the older we get, the less we produce. Right. And yes. Women mm -hmm. go into menopause and men become grumpy old men. <laughs> Is that what you are, Greg? A grumpy old man? <laughs> no, I try not to be. <laughs> but I take plus two. See, we've all got have 87 some odd hormones. And it's right. just, we all have a different hormonal makeup. You have more estrogen. I have more testosterone. Mm -hmm. So your hormonal makeup's different than mine, different than my wife, and so on. Right. So uh, how the plus is made basically it comes from a wild yam a specific type of yam and we extract something called dioscoria dioscoria is like the foundation for the production of hormones and you know like when you get up you make those happy hormones um serotonin estrogen different mm -hmm. you know yeah we're gonna get on with the day right and Later in the day, you decrease the production of those and you increase melatonin, which is mm -hmm. a hormone that puts you to sleep. You can't feel it all happening. And again, how many messages do you think it sent cell to cell for all that to happen properly? Mm -hmm. That's why the ambertose is so important. So with the hormones, the older we get, the less we produce. So plus, the easiest way to think about it is it's like flour in the kitchen. Flour is the base ingredient for baking. You can right. make cookies and pies and cakes and, you know, as long as you got a little flour. This is the same thing with hormones. You just, you're eating plant sterols, not animal hormones, phytohormones, phytosterols. And that gives you the fuel to produce the hormones that are correct for you. Right. So we're not forcing the issue. Right. Does that, does that right. kind of make yeah, sense? It does. Absolutely. Now, would you do a plus and let's say the Ambertose or would you choose one over the other? What would you well, recommend? Ideally, both. I mean, they both do two different things. Right. So plus and Ambertose, like I said, that combination helps an awful high percentage of people, ambertosin plus, you, you get the energy. And, and it's funny when people take ambertos, you know, they may take it for a specific reason, but there's, you know, people say, what are the side effects? Yeah. They say, well, they're all good. You know, you, you get better energy. A lot of people tend to sleep better, mm -hmm. uh, digest and eliminate better. Uh, you may find your hair grows thicker and faster. And I'm not saying this is going to happen to everybody. Right, exactly. With 25 years experience, I get a lot of feedback from people. Of course, of course, absolutely. Can you tell us or tell uh, everyone about the, the actual aloe plant and, and, and where this product comes from? Where, where does Manatech find their aloe plant? They don't go to the grocery store and buy it, I'm sure. <laughs> Tell me uh, about the plants. <laughs> good, good question, too. No, we have a, a, there's a company in Costa Rica, Aloe Costa Rica, and uh, we get our aloe from them. They've been 
growing aloe and engineering it and, you know, hybrids and different things and getting a good, strong aloe vera. It's very high in mannose. The, the Dalton count on aloe vera it gets complicated, but mm -hmm. there's a, a count for mannose out of aloe vera. So we get it from this company in Costa Rica. It's grown in Costa Rica because of the volcanic soil and the climate. You could take one of those plants and try and grow it here, but it's not going to be nearly as potent as if you grew it there. Okay. So we have an exclusive contract from them for one of the sugars that goes into Ambertos Manos from uh, Costa Rica. We get a brown algae off the coast of Tasmania. We get an Australian bush plum from uh, so we source different things from different right. parts of the world right. mm -hmm. so amber toast isn't a cheap product to make that's for sure no yeah. for sure yeah now manatech how long has manatech been around when did, when did it actually start you might have said at the beginning but we're into our 26th year this year it's been around a long time yep yeah. quite a while and constantly you know reformulating and and making the product better Absolutely. We're, we're kind of right at this period in time, we're concentrating on certain gut products, gut health. Mm -hmm. And there's a new one that's going to be released probably the end of the summer. Mm, and exciting. we've gone back and improved some of the our probiotic and our enzyme product. Right. And uh, we're always improving things because technology improves as you go. Of course, absolutely. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, but the, the plus, it's, uh, uh, again, it's, it's the fuel to produce hormones. We're all biochemically unique. And you're supposed to get three milligrams a day of these phytohormones or plant sterols, or you're supposed to get 30 milligrams a day, rather. The average diet today gets about three, a, oh, tenth, wow. a tenth of what you're supposed to get. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this has, yeah. you know, a big impact when people take it. And it works pretty, pretty instantly. People see things. That's a good question. I, I, sorry, a comment. So when you take an Amber Toes or, uh, product or the, or the Plus, would people feel it immediately? Or is it something that you take over a period of time and get your body, um, a, not accustomed to it, but get your body to start relying on it in terms of uh, supporting well, it, it's it's different for everybody, I guess, is the okay. answer. I mean, okay. and to the con confused matters even more, we have more than one type of amber toast. Okay. Some people respond to one better equally, you know, one will okay. work, you know, as well as the other. Right. So there's no way to know. It's just like when you go to the doctor and they put you on a certain drug and might not be working, they might increase it, they might add a couple different drugs from that drug family. If it's mm -hmm. not working, they take you off that family and start you on a different set. So it's the mm -hmm. same reason. Similar, okay. Yeah, we're yeah. all biochemically unique. So some people mm -hmm. can take a little bit and see a great result real quick. Mm -hmm. Other people need a little more and it takes longer. And there's no way I know of to know beforehand how it's gonna end up. Of course. Yeah. So when I start people on these products, I typically tell them, you know, it's nutrition. Drugs are different. They're going to have an effect. They're going to block, stimulate, suppress. They're going to do something right, right away. Mm -hmm. Where nutrition, it can take a little bit longer. Some things yes. you can see rather quickly. Some things can take a little bit longer. It depends the issue you're trying to address with it. True. But you have to look at it as a nutrient, something you add into the body to help support, you know, your system. And of course, that all comes with exercise, drinking water, uh, you know, trying to eat as clean as possible. So there's many factors, right, that you want to look at. Uh, I'm sure staying up and uh, getting three hours of sleep and living on bags of chips aren't going to, aren't going to be very beneficial. Yes. <laughs> or in my case, chocolate. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. It, it, it's, uh, you know, they, I always tell people do what's in your control first. Yes, of course. You know, diet, exercise, all those things you mentioned and, yeah. and it all adds up. And it does. another common question I get, Kim, is, okay, if I take it in my, whatever the issue is goes away and they're better. If I stop, will it come back? Mm. 
And the easiest way to answer that is the, the English discovered that citrus fruit prevented uh, scurvy. Right. They would sail from England over to wherever the Caribbean or North America. And when they mm -hmm. got there, the sailors had scurvy, some of them. And they dropped them off at the islands and go about their business and come back to pick them up on the way back. And they were better. And eventually they put two and two together and discovered it was citrus fruit they were mm -hmm. eating. So eventually they started loading up the ships with citrus fruit before they set sail so they could travel around the world and not get scurvy. So if they leave without the citrus fruit, guess what? They get scurvy. Right. If they leave, with, it's a nutritional deficiency. Yes. Fair. So typically, you know, you'll you'll be okay for a while but you'll notice things start creeping back back to the way you were because mm -hmm. you added the certain nutrient and things improved and when you take it away it's gonna revert again so right right you have to i think i feel like you know um i'm speaking from my own personal experience you have to say you're going to be committed if you, if you don't use that word i'm going to be committed you tend to and i'm just speaking for myself fall off that wagon, go back into your old habits. And um, with this time off we've had with, you know, being at home, um, I, again, I'm doing a lot of reading, a lot of listening, a lot of research, and, and I've, I'm practicing the word I am now committed. And it's taken me this long to say that word, but I, it, it's not too late. So uh, you've yeah. got to be committed to your health. And, and I think you just need to commit it. You have to be kind to you, be kind to your body. And, um, it, it, you only get one. <laughs> you got to be good to it, my friend. Right? You get that, one. Not that, two. You get one. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. And it's funny, you know, people, they take their health for granted till they don't have it. Mm -hmm. And then they're scrambling to get it back again. Mm -hmm. And it's so much easier to maintain it, like you say, commit. Yeah. And, uh, Mm -hmm. that, that's the best way. Like when I start people on this, I tell them, give it a good three to six months. Mm -hmm. And something I missed was our company guarantees our products 100% unconditionally for six months up to a thousand dollars, whatever that's comes great. first. That's amazing. That's amazing. Nobody does that. And yeah. we are what you call a social entrepreneurship company. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have never heard the term before. Maybe you've heard of Tom's Shoes, where it was a fellow went to Africa and uh, uh, he saw they couldn't go to school if they didn't have shoes, and a lot of kids didn't have shoes. So he vowed he was going to do something about it when he came back home. He started a shoe company. It's called Tom's Shoes, and it's these yes. shoes. You buy a pair. Mm -hmm. He donates a pair to a child somewhere in the world. Yes. So we have a, a nonprofit called M5M, Mission 5 Million. Our goal is to eliminate global malnutrition in children. Love it. And when you buy your bottle of Plus or your uh, Amber Toast or whatever, when you buy your products for the month, the company matches it. And we have a special product that we give to kids called Phytoblend. And this is what we, we donated to orphanages and kids all over Love the world. Love it. Love yeah. it. So it's, it's, uh, that's huge. You know, I, I, I ask people if you're already buying vitamins and minerals, uh, considering that, would you switch? <laughs> we just, yeah, exactly. No, that is huge. I've been looking at that a little bit more thoroughly. And I, I, I I'm, I'm just really happy to hear that. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Really is huge. Yeah. 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 So they're, they're, uh, Great company. We're known for our science. We're known for our products. Mm -hmm. And I mean, non-toxic, can't do any harm, guaranteed. There's no risk to trying them, really. No, that's true. That's true. So it's, it's, three, it's three to six months, a hundred, uh, money back guarantee. Is that the idea? Okay. That's correct. Okay, Up to $1,000, okay. whatever comes okay. for six whatever months. Comes okay. Well, I am really excited to be part of this uh, company and you're my mentor. I, I'm learning a lot. Um, I'm learning so much. Please don't test me. I'm not there yet. Maybe a couple <laughs> more of these and maybe I can answer a couple questions. Um, but because of you, I'm able, I feel confident and I know a lot of people that could really benefit from this in terms of just 
supporting the, the, their bodies, giving it nutrients. And um, I'm real, just really excited about it. So thank you. And I'm so excited to be part of the company. Again, I'm learning a lot. So I don't have all the answers, but this guy does. <laughs> and uh, Greg is happy to chat with anybody that wants to, uh, to chat with him. So just let me know, message me. You guys know how to get a hold of me. So Greg, thank you so much again. Thank you so much for your time. And I, how, how about you come back next month and we'll attack another product? How's that? I'd love to. And Great. thank you very much for the opportunity, Kim. It's been a pleasure and hopefully people learn something. We're just educating people. Yeah, for sure. Now you know, do with it what you want. So absolutely. You. Yeah, absolutely. Well, like I guess that I keep learning and it's fascinating to me. So um, yeah, wanna, I just, I really want to be on this earth for a long time. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to be that 95 year old driving my little sports car and <laughs> toot my horn and tell people to hurry up and get out of my way. <laughs> well, no, I could tell you, I, I don't have any great personal testimonials, but the, if you could answer my phone of people that I'm working with on a daily basis of, yeah. you know, it's such a gratifying thing to be involved with. Yeah. For myself, I've been taking it 25 years, and I can honestly tell you, I haven't been sick a day. It's incredible. That's and incredible. I'm 65, I still play basketball against kids in their 30s, and I, I mean, I walk, I carry my clubs golfing, and Good I don't have an ache or a pain. I don't wear glasses. I got most of my hair left. You do, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it, it's, but what I can never measure, what's it prevented? Right. So yeah. again, it's the initial message. It's your job to keep you well. I don't want to get sick. I don't want to be scrambling trying to get better. No, that's fair. That's it's fair. Quality of life. I don't want to live to be 80 or 90 and I'm in a wheelchair and limping mm. and can't see out of one eye and blind in the other. I, I, I want to be healthy. I want to be able to do the things I want to do. Right. Enjoy your grandbabies too. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks. You have an amazing evening. Thank you so much. I'll get this uploaded again. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment box and Greg will be happy to answer them. <laughs> very good. Thanks right. very much, Kim. It was a pleasure. Okay. Bye, my friend. See you later. Right. Bye.